Amsterdam calling. So pick up. We've shown you many of Amsterdam's secrets, but in this episode, we're going to show you actual hidden places in the city. These places are called hofjes, or in English, little courtyards. Since the Middle Ages, groups of houses were built around the central courtyard for religious women to live together. Later, the wealthy class built hofjes as charity to house the poor and elderly. Today, many of these hofjes still exist, and some are still exclusively for women or senior citizens. There are roughly 30 left around the city, so let's explore the hidden hofjes of Amsterdam. You will find most of these hofjes in an area of the city called the Jordaan. The Jordaan is a trendy area with artist studios, popular cafes and vintage stores, but there are still plenty of quiet side streets to wander and explore to find these hidden places. Palmgracht number 20, you find the original entrance to the Bosserhofje. And next to it, the red door, is the entrance to the Rapenhofje. We have to be a bit quiet. Originally, these were two separate hofjes with a wall separating the two. After 300 years, they took the wall down and replaced it with a hatch. Now the hatch is gone too, so it's basically one big hofje. And currently, nine female students live here. Well, obviously the nine students have a hard time prepping for their exam. Outside it's so crowded, and here it's so quaint. Now, the Karthuizerhof is the largest hofje in the Jordaan. It was built on the former site of a Carthusian monastery in 1650 by Daniel Stalpart, who, by the way, also designed the Royal Palace and the Schepvaart Museum. Now, the former residents here were religious women who did not want to become nuns. It's huge. It seems the inhabitants of this hofje really like cats. The Jordaan is quite an artsy area and sometimes you come across cool surprises such as this uh, oven thingy here. The next hofje we're visiting is the Klaas Klaas hofje. Now supposedly it's hard to find but the entrance to the alley has a white fence above it. The Klaas Klaas hofje was built in 1616 and what makes it different from other hofjes in the city is that it consists of three little courtyards. We are now at the Hofje of the Seven Kurvorsten, or the Seven Electors. It was founded around 1645 by gunpowder producer Cornelis Pronk. What is cool about this Hofje is that at the far end there is a small chapel. It was founded in 1862. Our next Hofje is on the Prinsengracht, right behind this door. We are at the Van Brienen Hofje. It was founded in 1804 by Baron Arnold Jan van Brienen. Rumor has it that, while being locked away in a strong room, the Baron prayed that if he was released, he would build a hofje for the elderly Catholics. The Baron was released and he built the hofje. the site of a Mennonite church. Now the church later merged with another Mennonite church and it left this hof to the elderly Mennonite women. Now in 1765 the merging was commemorated with a clock and a carving of a sun and Noah's Ark beneath it. It turns out Mennonite churches were not allowed to have a street entrance, which is why we have this long corridor. Searching for the secret hofjes is a great way to explore the Jordaan, which is one of Amsterdam's most unique neighborhoods. Today we visited about half of the hofjes in the Jordaan, and there are about 20 in total. We will provide links in the description box below to all of them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am Sander Altkek for Amsterdam Calling. See you next time!